Today's shout out goes to Adventures, Adventures in, food in Food with, with Howard. 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 He has some really nice takes on chicken where he toasts the panko before breading his chicken to make it crispier in the oven bake method. He also has a wonderful oven roasted chicken where he split the chicken before he actually roasted it. Those two look very interesting and healthy and tasty. Check out the links down below. It's early in the morning before I go to work. I'm not going to be home until later tonight, but I still want to make a great tasting dinner. So I'm going to use a crock pot to make this beef that's very versatile to make whatever kind of sandwich you want to put together. Here are the ingredients. A two to three pound beef chuck roast. A half a cup of your favorite Italian dressing. My wife loves the Olive Garden dressing, so that's the one we bought. Quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Enough water to cover the roast. The sandwich part, your favorite roll. Some lettuce. Tomatoes. Mayonnaise, peppuccinis, or if you want to make a barbecue version, barbecue sauce. So take out your favorite crock pot and plug it in. Put the setting onto low. Take the beef, dump it inside. Now I'm going to take a half a cup of my favorite Italian dressing. Pour it inside. Take your quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, sprinkle inside, I like to pour enough water to cover it, honestly you cook it just like that, but that's going to dry out the sides, so I like to put enough water to cover the whole thing. This is a little bigger than usual, but that should be enough water. Put the cover on and cook on low for at least seven to eight hours. Make sure you've turned it on or you're gonna come home to a raw piece of beef. Me? I'm gonna cook it for about 14 hours today because that's how long it's gonna take me to get home. And it's still gonna be wonderful. No, what would you ask me? Don't start. Don't start. Don't start. Okay, it's been cooking for about 14 hours, so let's go ahead and take it out. And let's open up and take a look. You see the meat's mostly in the juice. We are going to take the meat out. We're not going to actually cut it because our family likes to just peel it off and put it into the sandwiches. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. Okay, we're going to try and take it out. It might be so soft though it's going to fall apart. You can see how it's falling apart as I try and pick it up. So we're going to get chunks and chunks of nice beef to put in a sandwich. If you want, you can use the juice to put with the sandwich. My wife's not fond of the juice, so we pull it out dry. Okay, I'm going to use a slotted spoon to find the rest of it. Probably lots of beef hiding in there. There's some more. Oh, see, there's a big chunk just hiding in there. See, there's a big chunk just hiding in there. <laughs> okay, I don't feel anything else in there. So there's how much beef we cooked. You know, that was about two and a half pounds, I think. If you want more beef, do three pounds. Or however much your crock pot can hold. Okay, now I'm going to toast the bread. It's nice to the broiler. Gonna set it for only one minute. If you do it too much longer, it's probably gonna be charred. Can't tell you how many times I have charred the bread beyond recognition and had to throw it away. In one minute, the bread should be nice and toasted. If it's not, wait a little longer, but not too much longer. Once it starts getting brown, it goes fast. Okay, one minute's up. Let's take a look. 
Oh my gosh. Look at that. If I left it in there any longer, it would be too dark, especially for my family. They don't like it black. Take a look. Look at all that brown toasted. Yeah. Like I said, one minute. It's good. You can see the different condiments that we have for it. We have pepperoncinis, some of you like pepperoncinis. We have mayonnaise. We have the beef, mustard for me, ketchup, barbecue sauce, and we also have some lettuce to put on our beef, barbecue beef sandwiches with the toasted bread. Let's see how my children make their sandwiches. Oh yeah, we have to do our. Recording. All right. You can see Teddy's taking out the beef, put it right onto the bread. Oh, fat. Teddy doesn't like fat, so he has to get rid of any fat that's on his meat. Give it to mommy. And it goes to mommy. This one's good. <laughs> mommy always complains she gets too much fat from Teddy. And everyone Right, else. Teddy? Yes, and Leah. And Daddy. So Teddy goes for the beef and then puts on... Barbecue Mm. The sweet and tangy barbecue sauce really complements the tender meat in the sandwich. Uh, let's see how Camelia builds her sandwich. She is also trying to avoid the fat. Yes, Camelia? Mm -hmm. Fat equal make you fat. Hmm. Is that true? There's a big chunk. All right, she goes for the mayo. Spreading it around with a spoon. That is a lot of mayonnaise. Look so at how much mayonnaise she put on there. Take a look at that. There, there's a clear view of how much mayonnaise is on that sandwich. Let's see what else my daughter wants to put on her sandwich. All right, she goes for the lettuce. She's not shy about lettuce either. What else is coming on that sandwich? Let's take a look, and we've got tomato. So it becomes a BLT, beef, lettuce, and tomato. Oh, she has to add, she's almost got it. She's got to shake up some ketchup, spread over the ketchup on the meat. BLT with ketchup. Let's see. Oh, we got a big bite. She's going right in there. <laughs> Just the right amount of mayonnaise, not too overpowering. And there's the right amount of lettuce, too. The crisp tomato. And let us make the very tender. <laughs> the very tender soft meat. 
in the bread. Tastes like it's gourmet. <laughs> it makes them taste like it's gourmet. <laughs> Very messy. You need a lot of napkins. Since you made it this far, pile on that like button just so my daughter piles on the mayonnaise on her sandwiches. To make it gourmet McDonald's food. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays. You post once a week? Yeah. What word should, what word should I use that you have to write this on, Camelia? <laughs> and that would be for the next one. Thanks for watching! And just to mess with those people who didn't make it this far, be sure to include the word Gourmet McDonald's in your comment below, and you will be entered into my weekly drawing to get a shout out in my next video. Have a happy and healthy day! With mayonnaise! Have a happy Mayonnaise! <laughs> Have a happy and healthy day.